Hi everyone, it's Raquel from Cali Scrapping Creations. I wanted to share with you my latest book that I did entitled Our Family, Our Story Family. Um, this is a book that I did for a client who just wanted a, a book for her family. Paper packs that I used was the DCWV stack, the Rustic stack. And I also used K and Company's um, Brenda Walton stack. Right, from the beginning of the book um, you can see there are some Prima flowers here um, I use some Prima leaves right there a little swirl right there um, the border came from K and company if you look closely and then the butterfly also came from K and company along with this sunflower embellishment and you see the bees right there and then um, the front of the book is attached with straps that I made myself and it opens up like so. Oh, and here we are with the first page. Um, a lot of room for pictures, 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 pictures. The front tab, um, good times. And it's just, you know, a picture book. You can put pictures in there. This one says memories. And each one of these books, it flips up like so. So that she can put you know various pictures several pictures here's two spots for photos on this page you'll see that there is a border here and then I use the Martha Stewart punch and then more die cuts from K and Company and then here are tags for journaling and pictures See each one of them and then I did use some perfect pearls to give this embossing shiny look here. Let me see, let me take those out. There you go. As we flip to the next page, it's more rooms for tags. Um, more rooms for tags. More room for pictures. Um, here's a little secret pocket that I did over here. And this just opens up like so. And then this folds out. There's a spot right here for journaling and then it just folds back. Um, same thing for this one here. This one is stuck with a Velcro little sticky right there. Pictures and um, room for journaling there and then here is a big journaling block each one of these is a tag where she can do any type of um, pictures you know some people like to write some people don't so I made it to where she can do either or big journaling spot for a photo big journaling journaling spot photo mat for a picture journaling spot for um, writing and then just some quick embellishments I put that there and then the little birdie and then I put a little bling right there for the birdies eye going over to the next page um, here is a little flip book and it opens this way and then it opens up this way And then here is a tag here that sticks in there. And then I'm getting so into these little waterfall um, flips and it just flips open like so. Each one flips up. And there. 
so she can put a lot of pictures there and then I started doing this new thing to make it look like a paper bag album just putting a little photo mat in the inside and this one opens as well next page this is my pocket page I seen this done with with someone on YouTube I thought it was so cute but anyways they're envelopes and each one of them has a little pocket for pictures or journaling on each one and then they just slide back in here so they're little bitty pockets And then, like I said, each one just pulls out so there's enough room for her to do anything that she wants there. Um, going to this side, this was my, my pocket here. And as you can see, this is lace right here. So this is all lace. And then I put um, a border right here. A little... Um, chipboard and I covered it with paper stuck some butterflies there and then look at these tags all these tags they come out so I used some vintage buttons that I had in my stash with some very pretty ribbon pull this back so each one has a vintage button and a flower that I punched some of them I punched with the Sizzix flower punch, and then some of them were done with the Cricut. Um, and then there's these tags. And then I put these cute little baby tags in here, too. These little cute little baby tags. These were also from Kay and Company. And then didn't want to put anything too much here, so I just stuck a little note card there so she can put some journaling about the pictures that are in this slot. Here's another one of my secret pockets that folds out for more pictures. This right here is a page that I simply adore. It says family along the bottom. Um, there's a little clock here. Um, and then this book flips open like this, and like this, and then like that. Okay, and then this kind of opens up, and then there are two opening slots, picture, picture, picture I mean it's just so much room for you know pictures in this book I just simply love it and then here are two tags at the top she can put more pictures or journaling there um, and this one on this side says ties for family ties if any of you from the old school you guys remember that um, old sitcom and then I put remember this right here and that's a little tag it just slides in there like so um, and then this book on this side this one has a little two tag pulleys that come out and then this book opens and there we are This page is also uh, a, a tag pocket. All these pretty tags that go in here. Big room for a picture here. Um, and then the last page is pretty much a replica like of the first page where it has these paper tabs in here where, like I said again, each one opens up and you can put more pictures in there. And then here's two spots for pictures. And then over on the side, it says one big happy family. You see that there's a pretty dragonfly here um, from Kay and Company. And this doesn't belong here. And here's a flower from Kay and Company. And the back 
as you can see this is how I hear my book I put buttons on the back here and then a little velcro and there you have it so I hope you like my book leave me any comments thanks bye